Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and welcome to Willard Asylum. Now we start off in a reception area. Come behind the desk and pick up the flares. Open this door. And we'll land up in a longish corridor. One of them blue doors open. And these cabinets do open, and most of these in this level contain items. But that one doesn't, so we will leave that one. That room there also contains items. But we are coming back to that room, so we will leave it for later. Shoot part of this grate out. Go in here and we should get a flyby. Showing you a couple of rooms. A monster. And a door. Open this cabinet to get some flares. In this room, oops, there is a door in that corner there. The switch to that door is in that room up there. We can't do anything at the moment because that door needs a key and we don't have said key there's a ladder up there that leads to the top walkway now in here you have to be careful because that <coughs> excuse me Come to the end here. Open this door. And anyone using their headphones should turn their volume down now. Come round here to the wall, shoot the box and pull down the lever. over here shoot boxes and the grate now in this room to the right is a shotgun so we'll pick that up now here is a skeleton and if you look carefully you might just see a red tag Come on. Thank you. Jump over him and pick up a red key. Shoot the boxes in the corner. Now you've got to go right to the end, right to the wall. This, or else you won't be able to get in. She won't get in. So if we pick up the small medipad and then get out now back in here another hellhound has spawned kill him or her, it could be a her, we don't know Then in these cabinets here, 
Each of these contain a single small midi pack. Now we have that said key for that door in this room. So we shall go and use said key. Now for some reason all the items in this level are called load. Don't ask me why. Anyway, use the red key on the lock and the door next to it should open. Just ignore the music, there's nothing in here except this switch. And what I like to do is run, jump and grab and then drop quickest way down without losing health. Come in here. This is that room that was opened by the switch. And then open the cabinet door for some shotgun shells. In this corner here, shoot the boxes and there will be a small medipack. Shoot these boxes. And if you look up here, there is a trap door. So jump up and press the action button and she'll open the trap door. Pull this switch here. Now this is what I like to call trap corridor. In here there are traps. The main ones are the chains. There we go. They can push you into the spikes though so be careful. There we go. We jump up and grab the pole and climb up. Now, save this here. Four keys. We have to pick up the correct one because if we don't, that happens. Now, the correct one is in the southeast corner. Grab that and slide back down the pole. Back through the trap corridor and back into this room. Back out. And now we have a green key. We go back to that room that said that I said contained items earlier that we will get back to. Before we use the key, we need to open this door. I think it's shotgun ammo in here? Yes. And flares, too. 
And then we use this key on here, again called load. Nothing in here except the switch on the back wall. Pull that. And now that door from that flyby is now open. So, but we go down there. Down here, there's a monster. Now in this corridor, there are doors. These first two contain absolutely nothing. The next two, however, contain items and the two after that contain items we'll go for this one first now in here we have to be careful if we shoot this you might just be able to see a screwdriver on the floor now as soon as we stand over the screwdriver a hellhound comes up behind us to try and scare us once he or she is dead pick up the screwdriver now we'll go on the opposite door Pull back the skeleton. Come on, Lara. <gasps> and underneath him, or her again, are some flares. Next. And here's a large midi pack behind some boxes. Now I think that's where they put the bodies. Ugh. Anyway, in here there are some shotgun shells in this corner. Now be careful behind this door. There are two monsters. In this next room are some shotgun shells. In here are two hellhounds.
Where are you? There we go. Now, I've had it before where I've managed to get through that gate without having to actually pull this lever or we'll do it the proper way. I can't remember how I did it. <laughs> Partly. Open this door and this door should open. Open this grate from this side. Now, down this long ladder is a monster. So you'll have to give me a second whilst I... Yeah, that corridor is really tight to try and avoid him. There's not really much room to avoid him. Use the crowbar to open this door. The flyby shows you what's coming. Save here. Let's run, jump to the right as far as we can get. In other words, go up to the wall. Go right to the front and right next to that slope, and then the sandbag won't touch you. Now you've got to jump forward to the right and back. It can't get to you when it's at the back this one oh yeah I forgot to tell you in those holes are spikes so you've got to be careful try that one again shall we There we go. In here, there's a monster where you have got loads of room to manoeuvre to get rid of it. Now in here, there are two balcony type things. Anyway. Here, on both sides, are sets of doors. We can't do anything on the right side yet because we need a key. So, we come this way, up here, and take the first door on the right. Now, there are lots of boxes in this room, but you can only shoot the ones that are slightly darker brown to the rest of them. Behind the box is a crawl space. Come down here. Now, this room, you can't just walk across it. You have to walk around it. Those that you see in the centre of them you cannot get. And that's why. So you have to come round here. And up here. 
no you'll see a switch down there yes you do have to pull that switch but do not pull it now spikes will impale, on, impale you and that boulder will squash you so what we do have to do is pull this towards the back wall No, you can't roll out on this one, I'm afraid. Pull it once this way. Then push it this way. This will stop the boulder from squashing you when you pull the lever. down. Now you'll see where the boulder came from is a jump switch. Run jump. Oops. That boulder can still squash you by the way when it's moving like that. Yep, I'm recording, so I'm doing really badly. <laughs> there we go. Run, jump, and grab the lever. Then this door here opens. Now in here are some swinging blades. Oh, I'll do that again. Now, in that hole there are some spikes. You do not want to go down there. Drop, grab, enter this corridor and pick up this green key. Run, jump out. Yeah, I like to do. I like to save when I'm in here. Back through. Oh no, why did I do that? Again, we still can't go through this room properly, so we have to go around. Unlike I just did.
Yeah, that monster came from that room we were in just before the crawl space. So I have to go back through this room. Now we can go over here. Shoot the boxes in the corner here and pick up a crowbar. Now this is the door for that next green key. Now you have to be careful in here because a lunatic comes out and tries to stab you. there. He'll come out again. There we go. Now we go into the room where we just came from. Open this cabinet. Is it shotgun shells in here? No, it's a medipack. Now these four squares are dead obvious. And this is where we need to use the crowbar. There's a big piss here full of spikes. What you have to do Run and jump and grab. And now there's a blade just in front of us. Now, the best thing to do is go right, is walk backwards so you can't move any further. And do a half tower run, jump over it. Oh. So that time I just did a jump over it and grab. Last time that half time when a jump worked. Go across here. Now you have to be careful on it because behind you it's going to start walking in a boulder. Comes up there I'm guessing jump to the right here I think that's a serif but pick this item up and the level ends okay guys I shall see you next time bye